welcome back to my channel so yeah in today's video we're unboxing the geek gear wizardry limited edition magical creatures box this came with it as well it looks a bit like a wand box i haven't peeked i don't peek at anything all oh, the boxes coming undone we've got creatures trying to escape i have been so excited about unboxing this it's unbelievable because magical creatures is my thing just for full disclosure this box has been gifted to me by geek gear to review for you guys so thank you very much geek gear but all opinions will be my own but i'm so excited so if you want to see just as much as i do what is inside this magical creature box then keep on watching and if this is the first time you're seeing my face hello and welcome to my channel if you would like to become a potter puppet with us please click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video all my social medias are linked in the description of this video go see what i'm up to on those and guys i am trying so hard to get to my next big milestone of 2,000 subscribers so i'd really appreciate you hitting that little red subscribe button for me and also i would like to give a massive thank you to my patreons they help me keep this channel running just that little bit more if you'd like to know any more about patreon that's also linked in the description of this video go check check it out if you think it's for you then come join us <laughs> oh, i'm excited let's unbox this what do we open first i'm gonna save this till last it looks like one of their wand boxes but it's quite wide so i don't know i'm intrigued but we're gonna leave that till last but oh, it's got hey it's got a bit of weight to it and all over the gray because it comes in a gray bag i can't remember what you call them the gray bags you know the parcel bags it came in one of them and uh, all over it was like tape saying fragile intrigued but you can have the first sneak peek How's it good? Oh, I don't know what that noise was. Okay, so on the top we have a grey t-shirt. I'm going to pull that out first. Oh, the wiggly worms are green and orange. <gasps> okay. Oh, oh my gosh. It's a t-shirt saying missing toad. If found, please return to your nearest prefect. And what does it say down here? Um, answers to the name of Trevor. That's really cute. I really, you know, I toads are ugly things, but I really like this t-shirt. And it's great. It's not black. We've got to change. I love the black t-shirts. I say this a lot. A lot of people moan that the t-shirts are black and they want a bit of colour. As much as I love colour, I like my black t-shirts because it black, it's um it's a complimenting colour to wear. Hides all the lumps and bumps. But yeah, it's different. I've not seen anything like this done. And I do actually really like this t-shirt. I do love Geek Gear t-shirts though. They're really good quality as well. Really like them. I keep looking at this. It keeps catching my eye. But we're not. We're not yet. We'll open that last. Right, I am pulling out a little box. Grindelo scales, it says. And then what does it say here? Ground to increase surface area for diffusion into tonics and potions. Dosage. Research on volumes is still scarce. What limited information we do have when concoctions... Begin to foam, swiftly exit room, close door, never to be reopened. In rare cases, inclusion in potions may cause newfound affinity for traffic cones. What? Let's open her up. Sounds like we've got a potion. And oh wow! Oh my gosh! This isn't. <gasps> Giga, this is amazing. Oh my gosh! How cool is that? Grindelow scales. Bit speechless at the minute. Just give me a minute. This is really well made. I love this. It's a Grindelow on top of a potion bottle. I've never seen this done before. I really like this. Wow 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 okay i really like that that is really cool our oh, geek gear it's yeah i'm speechless why do you do this to me you make me speechless it's very rare to do that to me because i'm nothing but a chatterbox oh my gosh okay oh, hang on let me get it out of the crinklers oh i can't get it out i'm adding to the suspense guys you all sat there like did you show me what it is it's a mandrake and it's the cutest mandrake I've ever seen. It's even got the little roots. Oh my gosh, geek yeah, this box is amazing so far. That's so cute. I'm just speechless about 
about this box so far and we've just fetched well three items including the t-shirt but this is so cute look at it oh i'm gonna i've got a little plastic plant pot i could put you in as well and you can sit with the other mandrakes can't you these are brilliant so far absolutely brilliant i am just yeah i don't know what to say right we've got another box okay so on there we've got a picture of what looks like a dragon eye and these are what looks to be dragon scales dragon egg dragon egg maybe oh hang on i can't see it properly hang on oh is this meant to be little norbert that is really nice look at this that is really nice and i'm literally speechless i don't know what to say that is a really nice ornament look at him coming out the egg and it's even got like little eggshell bits that have snapped off at the bottom there look that is really nice oh look at it speechless speechless i i don't know if it's just the fact that i absolutely love magical creatures or what but wow right what else have we got i might have to look there's quite a few wiggly worms and i'm gonna have to look because i can't see what i'm doing okay okay so the next thing i'm pulling out here is a print of <clears throat> it's all about hippogriffs now it looks like it's on like a really nice parchment paper. Look, even on the back lot, it looks really, really cool. That does. I love aged paper. And yeah, it's it's all about hippogriffs. I'm not going to read it all out because my video will be really long. So feel free to pause it but and read it yourself. But just look at the pictures. They're really well drawn. Look at these hippogriffs. Oh, they're so cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, it even tells proud creatures approach with caution. Oh, oh, so it even warns you about them. I like that. Do you know, guys, I was thinking of a magical creature section because I love magical creatures, so I'm going to have to do one now. Oh, my God. I've just pulled two things out. Okay, the first thing, you don't see a lot of these, and I actually really love them. I don't have many, but I need to get some more. So we have... A Pygmy Puff Iron-On Patch. That is cute. I either want a bag or a jacket. Iron-On, so on, so on, Susie, so on. It's a patch, you so on. But I either want a bag or a jacket to put these on. I'm thinking bag. But um, I have a couple of these now, but I really like them. The quality, this is really nice, and that Pygmy Puff just looks so cool. That is a really, I like that. I like it, it's so pretty. And then the second thing I pulled out, we've got a pin. Ha! Ah, and it's Crookshanks. Hang on. I'm gonna take it out. And I'm going to put this on my Geek Gear pin banner. So we have a, a Bloodthirsty Beast. So we've got a big pin badge of Crookshanks. The backing card's cute. It's got little cat faces on. And like Crookshanks, the little cats on that backing card is miserable. And then on the back there, look, we've got two pin clasp things you know what I mean because it's a large pin but I do really like that pin it brings out the personality of the miserable crookshanks but I love magical creatures I love magical pins so when they're combined it's perfect really cute pin that is really cute right what have we got left what have we got left right I pulled oh we've got this as well I can need to remember I've got that as well guys we've got that as well there is a lot of wiggly words right so we have the cheat sheet there so i'll put that there so we've got what looks to be a framed print we got a frame print in um <coughs> this month's Mar march is we're in april now in march's box um which i do like that they come framed um that it came framed should i say i do like it oh my gosh i'm making a mess okay so we have Oh, this is cool. So Flourish and Blots is honoured to, to present the outstanding new book by Newt Scamander, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I really like that because I can hang that up and it's just like, um, and you know, I've picked the advertisement up out of the shop. Do you know what I mean? Like off the set and I'm displaying it, if that makes sense. 
I do really like that. That is really nice. I'm a sucker for a bit of prints and artwork. I like that it's cute. Right, so let me just double check because we have got a lot of wiggly worms. I think that's it. So we've got the cheat sheet, but we've got this. What is this? Let's open it up and find out. Oh, I've just thrown it across the room. Okay, is it a wand? It's quite a big box. I'm sure the wand boxes are smaller. No. No. What? Are you ready, guys? Okay, it's a wand and it's, it's a phoenix. Oh my gosh! Okay, I really like this. I really, really like it. And then we have a card that comes with it. I do love these cards that come with them. Finikia. Is that Phoenicia? Finikia wand? Or whatever you say it. Length 13 and 3 quarter inches. Core, ever burning embers. And wood, iron bark. That is really nice. I really like that wand. I sort of opened the box. I mean, I love ones anyway, and I do get excited when Geek Gear put ones in their boxes. But um, when I saw, I saw the Phoenix straight away, and it was like, what? That is a really nice wand. I really like that wand. It's really pretty. Oh, I love it. No unforgivable curses. Choo choo time. Oh, first, cut. I hope, just, just look. Look, the artwork on this box. I mean, they're boxes. Boxes, it doesn't bother me if they're um, they're pretty. It really doesn't normally bother me because I don't keep the boxes. I do keep the limited edition boxes, though. You, you do do a very good job with the artwork. Um, that is really nice artwork. I'm sure I've kept all of the limited. I've got Luna's up there. That was last year. I've still got my elf box up there in my corner. But yeah, um, it doesn't normally bother me, but it's nice to see every now and again. And yeah, that's what I do love that about their limited edition boxes. Anyway, on to the cheat sheet. Thank you for purchasing the Geek Gear limited edition creatures box. We hope you love everything packed into the perfect pair. <laughs> and that it brought the magic straight to your door. Oh, it did. I am obsessed with this box. I love it. I absolutely love it. Missing toad t-shirt. Uh-oh. Looks like this cheeky toad has made his escape. Remind your peers to look out for him with this stylist t-shirt. So yeah, you run an advertisement, Missing Toad. I like it. Licensed book release print and an advertisement for the latest Beastly book release. I do really like that print. Adorable Mandragora plush. This mandrake may look harmless and cute, but don't make it cry. I'll try. I forgot my earmuffs. Hatching dragon. This newborn dragon is in need of a mummy. Oh, I got you, Norbert! Phoenix wand. The mesmerising mythical phoenix crafted into a gorgeous wand of ash and flame. Really nailed this. It's gorgeous. It's definitely ash and flame to me. And a phoenix. It's, it's really, really nice. I am obsessed with that wand. Uh, pygmy patch. The perfect addition to any wearable. Yes! I am loving that patch and it's something I'd like to see more of because I want to start collecting more of them and have a collage of them. Is that the right word? Collage? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's just juicy. Ginger cat pin. Watch out for this grumpy, bloodthirsty beast prone to sniffing out rats. Mmm, scabbers. Hippogriff's creature page. Gather your own notes on magical creatures starting with the hippogriff. I do really like that. I like the artwork on it as well. It is really nice, even down to the style of the paper itself. I mean, it's it's not paper. It's a really good quality card, but it looks like it's on parchment paper. And I do like aged paper. I like it. And Grindelow Scale Bottle. That, where's it gone? Yeah, I absolutely love that. I really, really do. Creatures aren't just cute. They can be useful for brewing potions too. This bottle makes the perfect display piece for any magical shelf. My herbology shelf is going to look pretty cool with all this. I'm not going to lie. I am speechless about this box geek gear. I really, really, really enjoyed this. Thank you once again for gifting this to me to review. Um, what did you guys think? Uh, what did you think? <laughs> 
favourite item. I don't know if I can pick a favourite. It's going to be harder to pick a least favourite. I, I don't think, I can't pick a least favourite. I can't. I love it all, like all of it from this box. I absolutely love. Our favourite, I think, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to be two. These two. I love absolutely everything, but these just, as you probably noticed, really wowed me when I got them open. And the wand, actually. We're going to have three favourites. We're going to have three favourites, I'm sorry. I literally cannot pick out of these three, which is my actual favourite, because I love them all. But what was your favourite? Did you like this box as a whole? Have you got this box? What did you think to it? Let me know in the comments. Has me, watching me on boxes made you want to go get your very own? Let me know in the comments. Talk to me in the comments. But yeah, I am speechless. I am definitely going to be rearranging my herbology shelf. And I am definitely, 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 this has made me want more and more a magical creatures area. Um, so that will be upcoming on the channel soon because I'm bound to show you all. Not getting ahead of myself though because like I said, I have a big project coming on the way with my dad. I can't do this on my own because it's a big DIY and I wouldn't be able to do it on my own because I don't know what I'm doing. But um, that will be first. Patreons are very, my patrons are very updated and well aware how things are going with that. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping in the next month or two that'll be done. But anyway, so magical creatures and herbology. I mean, I've got a bit of a herbology section, but I'm going to have to move it and just literally have that as potions because I've got more potions to put in there as well. But yeah, I, w I absolutely loved this box. This is so cute. Look at him. But let me know what you think in the comments. Talk to Geek Gear in the comments. Let them know what you think to this box. Let them know how amazing the items are. But I'm going to go now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Potter Poppets. Sigh. <sighs>